What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Ubi Hikari, a.k.a. The Nerd Nigga, here to bring you another video with no frills, just the analysis. And today I'm here to do the 12 Days of Anime Day 6. And yeah, you, you, you see the title of this video. I'm here to talk about Shamo. Now, before I get into one of my... One of the craziest moments in Shamo, I just want to let you know, graphic picture warning. <laughs> if you are the type of person who doesn't like to view graphic content, do not watch this video. Turn it off and keep it moving because there's going to be going to be some graphic pictures in this video. So I just want you to know, if you don't like watching graphic pictures, or at least five to ten seconds or the graphic pictures, <laughs> Turn, turn this video off. All right, so Shamo. This was a, a, a sort of diamond in the rough that I ran into a couple of months back when I was searching for a series to get into, another CNN series to get into. And for those of you who don't know, Shamo is basically about this guy. Well, he starts off as a kid, as a teenager, named Ryo Narushima, who kills his parents in cold blood for seemingly no reason he can, although it's it's revealed later on why he did so at least from a psychological standpoint he kills his parents and he gets sent to a reformatory and it's sort of hinted at the author sort of hints at this but it does seem like there's a possibility for redemption for Ryo Narushima but the the reformatory he gets sent to is basically corrupt um, and it's a commentary on how the institutionalization of crime produces more crime and inevitably leads to a larger breakdown in society and a larger breakdown in morality. And it basically chronicles how a kid, even though he killed his parents, there was some redemption for him and how him being sent to a reformatory basically turns him into even more of a psychopath. Well, not even more. It does turn him into a psychopath because he didn't start out like that originally, even though he did kill his parents. So the moment in Shamo that just really blew my mind. All right. So like I said, he's Ryo Naoshima is sent to a reformatory and we see that the reformatory is corrupt, that the, the children there, the, the prisoners literally run the reformatory and the warden has basically abdicated his power over to the prisoners in the reformatory and the protagonist is already ostracized because of what he did. Obviously people don't like it when you know you kill your parents and so he becomes the target of sexual abuse by another prisoner there. I forget that prisoner's name. I think he's just referred to as Massa. Yeah, back to slavery days. <laughs> but in any event, he, Ryo Narushima becomes a target of sexual abuse by Massa. And he actually, on one occasion, he's actually raped by Massa. And then there's this one scene where he's about to be raped again. And he decides to fight back against Massa. And, whoa, holy shit. When I saw this, I was like, wow. I mean, first of all, the manga starts off with him killing his parents. And then this? And this is only like maybe in the first or second volume. It's crazy. This, this, this moment in the manga was absolutely crazy. And it basically laid the foundation for the brutality of the entire series and how the protagonist internalized that violence and then projected it onto society. And it also introduces a very important theme in this manga of the relationship between sexuality and human nature and violence. So all of those things combined. And there's actually a phrase that's repeated and becomes a motif throughout the series where the main protagonist says that human beings are sexually narrow-minded. And it also foreshadows how later on in the series the main protagonist becomes a rapist himself, literally. He becomes a rape rapist. So for all you guys who are thinking about getting into Sean Mo. I just want to give you this warning. 
if you can't stomach series with a villain for a main protagonist, don't read Shama. Just, just don't do it. So that was my main, <laughs> one of the craziest moments in Shamo. Uh, and next, tomorrow, in the next video, I'll be talking about Berserk. You know I had to do it, Berserk. So this was your boy, Uber Hikari, a.k.a. The Nerd Nigga. Just brought you another video with no frills, just the analysis. Peace and have a blessed day.